Hi, hello, welcome to your home school this year, class 7 mathematics NCRT or CBSC board and we are in a new exercise that is multiplication of decimals and your exercise number 2.6. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to multiply a decimals, right? Let's see the first one here. So, I am starting here directly. Because as in our mathematics basics, I have taught you about a decimal multiplication clearly in it. Right? If you have any problem, you can watch that video again and then start this. So, let's start multiplication. How do you do this one? 0 0.2 into 6. Look here. 6, 2, 12. Right? So, where is that? I'll write that one here. 6 zeros are 0. 0 plus 1 will be 1. This point, point is that after 1 decimal value you have a point. So in your answer also after 1 value you put a point. Therefore, 0.2 into 6 is equal to 1.2 is your answer. Okay, let's see the next one. So I will rewrite this in 4.6 into 8. Look carefully. 8, 6, yeah. How much here? 8, 6, yeah. 48. You can write this 4 here. 8, 6, yeah. 48. 8, 4, yeah. 32. 32 plus 4 will be how much? 36. Right? So now where I have to keep the decimal point? Here, after one decimal value, you have a point here. So, in answer also, after one value, put a point. That is 36.8. So, what you can write, children? 8 into 4.6 is equal to 36.8 is your answer. Third question, 2.71 into 5. So, take the question again, 2.71 into 5. Okay, if you, if you want, you can write into 5 down also, children. Anyway, you can multiply. 5, 1s are 5. 5, 7s are 35. Take 3 here. 35. 5, 2s are 10. 10 plus 3 will be 13. So, now where I need to keep the decimal point here? See here, uh, after two values, you have a point. In answer also, after two values, you put a point. Therefore, 2.71 into 5 is equal to 13.55 is your answer. Fourth one, 20.1 into 4. Directly you can say answer now. So look here, uh, children say me the answer directly. That is 80.4, right? So, try to observe carefully. You have to do the calculations fast by seeing only. Okay? 4 ones are 4. 4 zeros are 0. 4 twos are 8. After one value, you put a decimal point. That is here. Therefore, 20.1 into 4 is equal to 80.4. Okay. See the fifth one. 0 0.05 into 7. 0 0.05 into 7. So look here. 7 fives are 35. 7 zeros are 0. 0 plus 3. 3. 7 zeros are 0. Okay, where I have to put the decimal point now? In your question, after two numbers, you have a decimal point here. So, in answer, after two numbers from that side towards right side, you should start counting children. One, two, put a point. Therefore, 0 0.05 into 7 is equal to 0 0.35. Fine. So, move to the sixth one here. 211.02 into 4. So, again, rewrite this. Into 4, start multiplying. 4 twos are 8. 
4 into 0 0 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 Okay, now where I need to put the point? After two decimal values. In answer also after two decimal values. That is 211.02 into 4 is equal to 844.08 is your answer. Okay children. So do these all decimal multiplications two times today. Right? So last one. 2 into 0 0.86. If you want you can multiply like this also no problem. But uh, you can feel comfortable if you do like this. 2 6 ya, 12. 2 8 ya, 16. 16 plus 1 17. 2 into 0 0. 0 plus 1 will be 1. That is 1.72 is your answer. Therefore, 2 into 0 0.86 is equal to 1.72. Let's see the second problem. Find the area of rectangle. So, let me draw a rectangle here children. So, is this a rectangle? Do you know? Yes, it will be having 4 vertices and 4 sides. Okay, where... These two will be equal and these two lengths will be equal. So, rectangle will be having length and breadth. It is a two-dimensional figure. So, now you need to find the area. Area means what children? See? See what am I shading now? The complete portion inside these four sides. This is called as the area okay what is area of a rectangle complete we call it as a area then what about perimeter sides four side sum is called as a perimeter l plus b plus l plus b that is called the perimeter area means this one how can we find area children what is the area of a rectangle formula? We know given. So, what is given here? Find the area of the rectangle whose length is equal to how much? 5.7 centimeters. And breadth is equal to how much? 3 centimeters. Length is 5.7 centimeters. Breadth is? 3 centimeters. What is the area of a rectangle? Area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle formula. Length into breadth. Length into breadth is called the area of a rectangle. You may write shortcut L into B. What is your L value? 5.7 into 3. Breadth is 3 centimeters. So now what we need to do? We need to multiply. You know multiplication children, right? So say me here directly. 3 7 sa 21. Okay, 2 you remember here. 3 5 sa 15. 15 plus 2 will be 17. So what is this? 17.1 centimeter square centimeter into centimeter what happens centimeter square no so area unit is always square units if it is a centimeter square centimeter if it is meter square meter okay so therefore area of a Area of a rectangle is equal to 17.1 centimeter square. Okay, is this clear? Okay, let's see the third main children here. Find 1.3 into 10. Into means we need to multiply the values. So now, rewrite again 1.3 into 10. 
First, we should start multiplying with 0, no? 0 into 3, 0. 0 into 1, 0. Yes? Now, with 1. Multiply with 1. 1 into 3, 3. 1, 1, so 1. Right? Now, add these two. 0, 0 plus 3, 3, 1. So, now... Where I have to keep my decimal value here? After one value, you have a decimal point. So, in your answer, that is 13.0 is the answer. You can rewrite your answer in this place. Okay. See the second one. 36.8 into 10. So, again, with 0, always you need to start multiplying with 0, no? 0, anything, 0. So, how many numbers are there? 3. So, write 3 zeros. Okay. Now, next number is 1. With 1, when you start multiplying, you have to start from the second row, from the second value onwards. 1, 8, uh, 8. 1, 6, uh, 6. 1, 3, uh, 3. Add the children 0, 8, 3, 6. Where I have to put the point here? After one value. So here answer is 368.0. So one thing you can observe here. If you multiply 10, 10 means 10, no? So your decimal point will be shifted one place towards the right side. 13.0. Here also look here 36.8. If you multiply 10, this point will be jumped here. That is 368.0. Okay, let's see the third one. So, same is the answer. 1537.0. See this answer. 1680.7. So, the decimal point jumping one value towards the right side. Let's do the multiplication. 153.7 into 10. So with 0 we need to start multiplying first. How many values you have? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Then with 1 if you multiply same value. That is 7, 3, 5, 1. Add this 0, 7, 3, 5, 1. How to keep the decimal point after one value from the right side? That is 1537.0. Is this easy children when you multiply with the 10, 100, 1000 and 1000? You can count the zeros. How many zeros are there? That many steps you can jump towards right side your decimal point. So directly shall we say all these answers? So now this answer is... 168.07 into 10 is equal to 1680.7. Only one zero, no? So, one decimal point, one value will be on that side. See the next one. Fifth one. So, here two children. Two means what? So, nothing there. So, what we can do? One more zero we need to take. Okay, better let's do this multiplication. Look here, again you may confuse. 100. With one zero you multiply zeros. Another zero you multiply all. Three zeros. Now with one you multiply. Three, one, one. Now add all these. Zero, zero, one, one, three. Now point. That is 3110.0 means this decimal point jumped after two values. Here no value means 0 taken. So 3110.0. Right? You can guess your answer also children. Now can you guess the answer here? Yes. So 6, 1. So after point only one decimal value you have. But you are multiplying with 100 means what happens? After two places, the point will be jumped. So it will be 15610.0. 0. 
If you want, you can check it out. Multiply like this and then check. Similarly, seventh one, 100. You are multiplying children. So it will be 362.0. So now I just say the answers you need to do now in your buff notes and you have to form on me. See the last one, 100 you are multiplying. 4307.0 is your answer. Similarly, see a ninth problem. 0 0.5 into 10. What happens? 5.0. See the ninth one, tenth one. 0 0.08 into 10. 0 0.8 will be left. 0 0.08 you are multiplying with 10, no? One decimal point if it jumps after one value. What happens? 0 0.8. Check it out. 0 0.9 into 100. What happens? 0 0.9 into 100. Look here carefully children. So this point should jump. So 9, right? This point should jump after two values means here. Right? 9, 0, 0. You are going to get. Let's check it out this one. 0 0.9 into 100. So let's multiply 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, where I have to write here 9, 0. Add all these children that will be 0, 9, 0, 0. Where I have to keep this decimal point after one value. That is 0, 9, 0, point 0 you got. You can remove the 0. Right? Your answer is 90.0. See the last problem in this? 0 0.03 into 1000. 0 0.03 into 1000. 1000 means what happens? This decimal point will be jumping towards the 3 points afterwards. So let me rewrite 0, 3, 0 afterwards. You will get a point, right? So two values already there. One more value I have written and then this point will be jumped here. So finally this double zero delete. 30.0 is your answer or 30 also you can write. Okay, this is the way we need to multiply the values children carefully. Okay, with this we are going to end our session today. In our next session we are going to complete this exercise. Until that keep on practicing all these multiplications. These are all applicable in your future. Right, thank you all.